you got a chance to greet my guests all right anyways on a serious note it's mosquito mountain but it only comes alive anytime say after five in the evening going on to six you know when it's a little bit quieter they will come on out to zoom on down to the neighboring uh, places now this location was a spot or a trail to use in the 17 and 1800s by lots of Spanish and English in Jamaica in those days not sure if you guys heard but Jamaica was ruled for like 150 years by the Spanish and then by the English you know, for another 300 years plus so this location all of Jamaica really was used like an estate all planted up with sugarcane and in those days sugarcane was considered as the white gold of Jamaica so they made lots of money off that stuff so you know most of the persons who were here as workers would plant on the low sections and the uh, sugarcane made a lot of money for the European market so after a while they wanted them to cover most of the high hillsides which made work much harder you know so a lot of those workers were rebelling all across Jamaica now this area where we left from and where we will go next this beautiful view from here view of the ocean yeah so the school or the white building that you guys are seeing everyone can see that mm -hmm. that's our next stop that's the gated area where we passed that location is called the Kenilworth Heart Academy that's a beautiful ruin that has been there for more than 300 years I'm going to stop there to give you guys some shots and some more history. Yep. Yeah. Now, in the yeah. days of uh, 17, 1800s, they brought like the cane on the donkey carts or cow carts. Where we turned around, that's the turnaround spot for all tours. And that location going to the right, that section is a little bit grown up. But um, in, in that area is where you find a place called the dam. It's a location they would wash all the cane and bring it back to the factories or the estates. So we turn around there and now we are over, say, 500 feet above sea level. You know, I like, I like to call this part personally, the Armageddon spot. Anyone knows what that means? Yep. Oh. Armageddon means this is the spot I take you all and maybe all of you may not get back. <laughs> <laughs> so I can either uh, choose the persons I want to stay <laughs> or, you know, I give you guys the actual uh, thrill that we always give everyone. So if you guys want to really get back to her and your buggies back, Everyone has to come and stand on the hedge here. <laughs> and I'm going to teach you all how we do bobsledge. I'll tip you all. <laughs> and you'll have to get all the way down to the bottom without touching the ground with your hands. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> all right. So lots of bamboos, right? Mm -hmm. Now, um, a lot of bamboos are in Jamaica, like about 46% of our forest area is all covered with bamboos. But they're not native to us. Jamaicans first got bamboos in the 1800s. That's when we were making like high-rise buildings. So the Chinese brought them here as one of our first cheap construction you know, material uh, stuff to be used for scaffolds. You all know scaffolds, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But can you believe nowadays Jamaicans um, kind of revo revolutionized this uh, use of bamboos by using them for rafting? We yes. strap like seven or eight of them together and just row on down the rivers. The best time into Jamaica to really have your smokes if you're a smoker your alcohol your jerk chicken if you're a writer writing a book you know say let's say for you or you you know you guys writing some love novels of your ladies you know yeah man the land pass of jamaica yep yeah man way back when all right so on a serious note bamboos are very very hollow from joint to joint and we jamaicans like to call them suicidal plants because they never stop growing until they kill themselves now these bamboos can get up to 80 feet in height or 120 feet in height all depending on the section of the hills that you are now the rivers that we went across that's the Mogherty River so we will soon see the Mogherty estate down below now all these rivers provide a lot of water for the bamboos so on a day-to-day -day basis these sections can easily go three to five inches and that's in the dry season and when it's like all wet like now they can easily grow day to day an entire foot yeah. yeah and um the joints are only the closed parts so all these sections are open only the joints are closed 